Hey guys! Hey guys! And welcome to another tabletop battle video. That is exactly where you have found yourself in this dire moment. <laughs> Today we're gonna be talking about a new game, uh, or it's not, oh. a, it's not a new game. It's from 2013. Very old, actually. Uh, it was, uh, or it's, it, it was started in 2013. The finished product was in 2015. It's a uh, a game of desperate conflict in a desolate uh, future. Yes, in a desperate fight for survival in the wasteland of the future. Yes, sir. Well, the funny thing is, the game is called Waste Man. Yep. So, me and Martin, as you might know, have been over to the United Kingdom yes, to sir. arrange the first grand tournament of 148 Tactic. Yes, sir. Official. <laughs> 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 not, not the first one, but the first British one. The first British one, yeah. Sir. Uh, and uh, we had our dear friend uh, Steve, Steve Burry and Andrew, who were driving us. And they uh, they spoke a lot about this Waste Man game that they played, it was so cool and all. And me and Martin were like, Waste Man? Okay, so they're driving around in garbage trucks and collecting garbage or something? Yeah. No, but it's actually in a post-apocalyptic future, and we love that shit. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. So, Thunder Child Miniatures. Yes, sir. That's the name of the company. Uh, and apparently it's just one guy. It's one guy. Um, has made this and... Started out as a Kickstarter. Yeah. And there's been a bunch of expansions. He casts his own miniatures, prints his own cards. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Or, well, I think they print them in China, but well, he makes, yeah, but he he makes, makes the design and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, Steve Perry was talking a lot about this game, and actually when we left, he yeah. gifted us a lot of shit. You will see that yeah. uh, in the end. We'll yes, show sir. you a lot of the stuff we got. So we're gonna, we're gonna pay tribute and pay our respects. Yes, because uh, Steve Perry works at... Uh, Rubicon Models! Yeah, but he, Did that work? he does uh, sc scenery for uh, yeah, he does. Dark Ops. Yeah, well, he sold Dark Ops to Sarissa. Yeah. But, but yeah. of course, he's still involved in Dark Ops, I guess, in some way that he, he has still has the files and can print them on his uh, laser printer. Yeah, something like that. MDF uh, thing. He's so, he's so good at being creative. But originally, Dark Ops made the scenery the buildings for yeah. Wasteman. They have some buildings. You'll, you'll see them in, in the end. <coughs> Uh, but anyway, so, so we will pay our respects by uh, talking a little bit about this book, about the game, the cards, and we will also do some battle reports for you to see because... Yes, sir. Because it looks, it looks really cool. Really cool, and I don't think many people know about it because we didn't know about it. Nope. And if we don't know about it, then it doesn't exist. Probably you didn't know about it no, as well. No, exactly. Then it didn't exist. So we will do our part to bring it out there. Yes, sir. Uh, and I'm gonna be the Cybjorgs. Okay. <laughs> Cybjorg. There's a lot of cool stuff in here. Yep, and a lot of play on words. Yes. Yep. Here you can see on the top half here, these are Cybjorgs. Very cool models. But of course, in a game like this, yep. you can use whatever model you have available. Yes, you can. You can even make your own stat card. Yep. Because as they say, the stat cards that come with the characters are a... Uh, and like a serving suggestion. Serving suggestion, that's what the word you use. So you can you can make up your own uh, yeah. kind of stats. There are rules for having this and that much movement, this and that much armor and power. And yeah. yeah. So it's cool, it's cool. It's not a, it's not a big uh, rule book. No, the rules are fairly simple. Yeah. You have uh, a set amount of activations. And on your activation, you can either move, attack, or use an ability. Yeah. And there's it's a lot so of pictures. Easy. A lot of pictures. A lot of uh, schemes. Yes, sir. And we'll try to... What is it called? Grasp our heads around the Wrap rules. Our Wrap our around. heads around the rules. But the basics... Like Martin said, uh, you get a number of activations. If yes. you're a leader, you have three activations. If you're a normal trained guy, you have two. And if you're somebody like uh, me, you will have one. <laughs> yeah, and it's uh, that simple. Yes, and you get five bottle caps. Yes, five activations per round. Yeah, I wonder if it was inspired by some other game that uses bottle caps. 
Ooh, I maybe. don't know. But each player gets five bottle caps. Yes, they're in a bag, and you pull one out. Yep. And it, say it's uh, red. Yep. And it's yours. It's mine. So then you choose one of your dudes to activate. Yes, I can. You cannot activate the same guy twice no. unless you have to. Yes, unless you have to. So that if you activate a guy, you place the bottle cap next to him, and he does his set amount of actions, and then you pull another bottle cap. Yeah. It's normally, and normally if I two. Gun down your team so that you have like just one or two characters left. Yes. That's your heroic moment. Yes, because you still get to use all the five bottle caps. Yes, sir. Then if you have your leader left, and only your leader, you can do a total of 15 actions in one round. Can you imagine? And if he has a powerful weapon, you can just... Bop, 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 bop. But of course, he might be gunned down if he's you know facing two or three other guys. Yeah. So, yeah. Who knows? Because uh, to hit something, you actually use D10s. Yes, you do. And normally, you only get one D10. Yes, so when you shoot at something, you roll one D10, and your weapon has a power, and then there's an armor, and then there is a schematic. There's a chart for it. Yes. Yeah. It's, uh, what did you call it? Pretty much like the old the Warhammer Fantasy old, thing. The old, old Warhammer Fantasy thing. Oh, I rolled a one. I failed. Yes, you did. <laughs> uh, but it's it's like, it goes from uh, your power being from 1 to 10 and the armor Versus being from the armor 10 to and 1. You, yeah. Yeah. The more power you have, the easier the roll is. And yeah, it's so, all very simple. Very simple. And when you score a hit, you then yeah. roll again a DT. Done. D DT. A DT. DT, that's Norwegian. DT. Uh, you roll again, and on a 2, on a 1 to 4, you get spooked. Yep. Which on, is a, a negative buff. Yeah, you get uh, one less activation or one less action. And a minimum of one. Yeah. And then on a uh, five to six, you are. I think it's a four to six, actually. But. Uh, anyway. Yeah, four to six, that's what I said. Then you get crippled. Yes. And. Oh, there was. There. It, there was, was here. it was here. Here it was. It was here. Oh, nice one. Here, 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 here. We have it. We're just finding the rules. Having the rules. <gasps> oh! 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 Ah! There was. One to four is spooked. Yeah, that's what I said. Five to seven is crippled. Yes. Eight to nine, serious injury. Yes, sir. And then ten. Your character flips over and you can't do anything more with it. No. Unless you're not you get out a of car. the game. Because you have, like, you can have medics, you can have stim packs. Yeah, you have stuff that can remedy it. Yep, yep. And on a ten, the character is dead. And then you think, oh no. Can I only kill somebody on a ten? No. Because there are weapons that will modify these rolls. Yes, there are. Like, in bolt action you have uh, penetration um, value. Okay. So, I th I don't know. I think we'll uh, let the guys have a look at the, um, the, the stuff. The buildings and uh, the stuff. The art of the rule book. Yeah. And we'll try to learn the rules and get back with a battle report. We will. Here's a, here's a Doesn't lot that of... sound good? It does. Here's a lot of guns. Name some of the guns. Assault rifle, we know that. Yeah. Bear hands. You mean like bear hands? No. B E A R. Hands. Bear. Bear hands. Big bada boom. That sounds in, that sounds boom. orcish. From the fifth element. Yeah. Big bada boom. Dallas, big bada boom. Yeah. Boomstick. Boom Bio sense. thrower. Bludgeon. Bow E. Bubble gun. The bow E. Is that a, a play on words of the E bow caster from uh, Star Wars? I have no idea. The Chewbacca uses one of those. Yeah, but yeah. There, there's a bubble gun. What in the world does a bubble gun do? A bubble gun. And I it causes radiation, radiation yeah, yeah, damage. Yeah. Chainsaw, Frassler gun, Gaping Maw. And all of these, or not all of them, but most of these weapons have special effects as well. Mm -hmm. Like we discussed, it will affect the roll when you roll to see if you are 8 seriously injured. Yeah. If you have, for example, plus the, 2 on that, you would bare die. Bare hands. You get a special effect called Gorgasm, which gives you a plus four to the uh, injury roll. Oh no! Yes, sir. And tentacles and Tesla, Tesla truncheon, toaster, yeah. warrior blade. There's a lot of stuff in there. It's very cool. Yes, sir. There's even a chart called more weapons. Yeah, more <laughs> weapons. <laughs> and there's armor, bunker plate, and exosuit and. Gnarled hide and hazmat suit and you know it's a lot. It's it's your typical post-apocalyptic uh, stuff. Yeah. Grenades. Yes, sir. And you can also build your 
own posse sort of. Yeah, because there are the posse fixed, boxes. Fixed posse boxes on the uh, is it called tcminiatures.com, I think. Yeah, I think it was. In the back of the book. And the back of the book. <laughs> as you can see, we have prepared very well. tcminiatures.co.uk. Yeah. Yes. There you can see what's available. Uh, there's different posses with, that you can buy and get a whole team. Yeah. Or you can pick some separate uh, models. And the models are really fun. So even though you're, if, if you're not even considering, go in there and check out the models. Just see. They have the Kami Pugs. Which are mutated dogs that are sort of uh, half man, half dogs, and they're from Russia, and they have uh, the communist flags and everything. Uh, you have dwarves riding on giant snails. You yeah. have yeah, some lot yeah, of you have a lot of crazy really, really stuff, crazy models. Yeah, but remember, you you can use your own models that you already have. Just make mm. up uh, stat cards for them and call yeah. them a posse. Yeah, and the books are really cheap. I went in there and I looked at the web shop, and it's now at. Uh, 40% off or something. What? Yeah, at, at time of the recording. <laughs> the rule book? Yeah, it was originally 24 pounds, but it was, uh, I think it was 13 pounds off. What? Yeah, so it's dirt cheap and you get the, the mad cards with it. And what? Th then you have all you need to start playing. Do you get the cards with it? You get the cards with the book. Oh God, he needs to stop giving away his stuff. Increase your prices, man. Increase your prices. Don't give discounts. But of course, nobody has seen this game before, so I, I understand. Yeah. We will do our part to bring it out there and help this guy get some more income, because that's what we do. Yeah. We help people. Yeah. So if you guys are developing a game or wanna want us to do some videos about stuff, yeah. Just contact us and we will do a battle report on your game. We will. And when we are finished with our game, we will send it to you and you will do a battle report on our game. Yes, sir. <laughs> oh, we'll do that ourselves. So check out the buildings and stuff and thanks for watching the video. Yeah. Are we going to show them the cars as well? No. no. <laughs> Galactic <laughs> Bombardment! Splat! Bye, guys. Super oil slick. Say, say bye, guys. Strange meat. Tornado! No, 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 no. It's a... Mega tornado. Mega tornado. <laughs> massive death. Death on a massive scale. Call of the behemoth. <laughs> Every enemy figure is now spooked. There's a lot of shit in these cards. It's very cool. I can't wait to get in a game of yep. this waste man with... Mutually assured destruction. destruction. Bye, guys. This is the irregular Joe's coffee shop from Dark Ops. It's so beautiful. And again, many pardons about the glare. These are the Lunar Coalition Cargo Pods. Also from Dark Ops. Aren't you gonna say stupid, Sven? <laughs> then it's the Robo Room. You spoil them, we oil them. Randy's Robo Room. This is gonna be so cool to build. And of course, the Age 2 Bro water tower I love how he puts these little puns on everything there are of course the the mad cards that you get from the traders or uh, vending stations during the game and these are apparently a game changer and what did mad stand for? I don't remember mutually Assured destruction. Love it. And this is the cover for the uh, Waste Man rulebook from uh, Thunder Child, and it's full of these amazing comical drawings of the apocalypse, and of course a lot of pictures. Uh, app apparently, of his own painted models. He's done everything in this book himself. Uh, all the systems, all the drawings, all the models, all the scenery. It's a, it's a big job to do something like this on your own. Look at this. 
bask in the glow and yeah so this is the what do we call it the the gift basket that was handed to us and yeah i can't wait to get started